Today, I'm gonna be using child labor to make myself stupidly rich in The Sims 4. I will be challenging myself to complete the making money scenario, which tasks players with making 1 million simoleons. How will I use my child workforce to complete this task, you ask? I counter that with another question. What does Animal Crossing, Minecraft, and Farming Simulator have in common? Yep, it was obvious, the ability for players to grow and harvest plants. You see, children yearn for the fields. I set up my in-game avatar, Kibbles Jack the First, with traits that will help him be efficient in gardening. Now, the making money scenario takes away all the money in your bank account once you buy your first plot of land. In a big brain move, I select a plot with a house already on it. The scenario takes away the money in your bank account, but it lets you keep the furniture and house you buy. I destroy half the house and sell all the useless furniture so I can get my seed money. After buying my first planters and seeds, I begin to introduce Kibbles to the work he will be doing until I finish the run and abandon this save for all of eternity. I begin to plant the highest value seeds I receive in the seed packets. Kibbles dislikes gardening. I strongly advise you to learn to like it, as you're gonna be doing so much of it. Well, I started my first fire. It wouldn't be The Sims if your Sim didn't suffer third degree burns and needed to be saved by the fire department. Anyway, my latest harvest of chrysanthemums made me around 3k, which is good. But, you know, I want millions, not thousands. Kibbles likes gardening now. Good, thanks for listening to me. I got back to maintaining my garden by watering and weeding my plants, when I noticed a red plant off in the distance. These red boys are snapdragons, which I will need later, but there's a problem. They're in my neighbor's yard. I don't want to steal from my neighbors as that's immoral and illegal. What am I talking about? I actually have no problem stealing from other sims. So I stole the snapdragons and plant them in my garden. I'm making good money currently for my chrysanthemum slash snapdragon garden, but I have a plan to make even more money. Once I unlock grafting, I have the ability to combine two types of flowers to create a new type. My plan is to create orchids by grafting snapdragons and lilies. Orchids sell for about 225 simoleons of flower, and bushes produce 10 flowers a harvest. That would net me about 2,250 simoleons per bush per harvest. I already have snapdragons to graft, all I need is a lily. Searching my local park, I found a wild lily to cut a sample from to graft to my snapdragons. But the plant wasn't blooming, so I have to wait. When it finally bloomed, I obtained my sample and spliced two plants together to get a combo plant that would produce me an orchid. All of this work has left me pretty lonely. I need to have social interactions with Sims so I, you know, don't get too sad. Hi Yui, how are you? Actually, I don't care. You are nothing but a bar filler to me. I'm going to need to move eventually so I can build a ridiculously large garden, but for now I'm going to need to build up my stock of orchids to start my new farm off right. After harvesting my orchid bush when it blooms, and then selling my remaining plants, I saved up a nice amount of money to build my new farm. At my new home, I constructed myself a modest house to live in, and I am now living on a basic necessity budget. After planting the orchids I had stashed, I think it is time to assemble my child workforce. The Sims has this unique feature where you can go to a computer and purchase, no, adopt as they call it, a child for only a thousand simoleons. That is way under market value, you know, if this were real. You can do this in real life too if you wanted a cheap workforce. I adopted, I mean, hired my first worker, Carly. Carly isn't ready for work quite yet. In order for children in The Sims to water, plant, or weed my orchids, they need a mental level of five. These kids start off dumb. I need to make them smart like me. The best way to level up their mental skill as fast as possible is for them to play chess. Hopefully she won't get smart enough to overthrow her corporate overlord. Carly and other future workers are going to need a place to stay, so I built this shed. It only has three walls, allowing it to never retain heat. I also built them a feeding station. Wow, <laughs> my generosity is amazing. Yeah, I also locked my house so they can't drag their dirt and poverty into my humble abode. After the next orchid harvest, I hired more workers for a total of seven. 
The key to managing workers effectively is to strip them of their individuality and make their sole purpose in life to serve the corporation. So I replaced their colorful and unique outfits with the same uniform for everyone. I also renamed everyone to laborer and gave them an assigned number. Remember, they are numbers, not people. Never, never treat them like people. Anyway, I had the numbers grind chess while I expanded the industrial-sized garden and harvested orchids to replant them later. Something super annoying happened, however. The laborer's sleep keeps getting interrupted by monsters under their beds. I need my laborers to get as much sleep as possible to play chess for as long as possible to level up their mental skill as fast as possible so they can start working in the fields. To stop this from happening, I had to pay 60 simoleons for a pretty cool nightlight to keep the monsters from harassing my workers. With their sleep no longer interrupted, the laborers were able to reach level 5 of the mental skill. We can now begin mass planting the plots I have laid out for them. I distribute the orchids and get the children to start their first real day of work. Laborer likes fitness. No, you're not allowed to like anything. Focus on your labor, comrade. After a hard first day of work, I allowed them to get some sleep. Wake up! Time to work! Get out of bed, you lazy youth. You gotta stay on top of them, you know. We were making progress, however big government decided to come snooping where they don't belong. Not to stop child labor, <laughs> they don't care about that. Big Brother wants the kids to go to school. But a quick couple of calls to take vacation days should solve that for today. See, they love their work. They'd rather make me money than learn to read. So I realized around this time I was being kind of dumb. I had the orchids in the workers' individual inventories, manually ordering them to plant each flower. I discovered that if I lay the flowers out beforehand, then order the children to plant them, they continue working until they can't anymore. As they filled out the field with my money printing flowers, I sold the ones that bloomed. While my laborers were worried about not having heat or food every day, I reached 200,000 simoleons in the bank, which was pretty cool. My game is starting to break. As we continue to plant orchids, my commands and actions are becoming super delayed. Like they're just standing around for a couple seconds before actually doing what they're told. Labor, I am telling you to stop. This is one of the few times I want you to stop. I am clicking this so many times. Go to sleep. Stop working. We were almost done planting everything when I see this kid out and about on a Thursday at noon. Aren't you supposed to be in school? Man, parents these days? Mm. Letting their kids do whatever. It's irresponsible if you ask me. Now that everything is planted, it is time for the laborers to maintain the crops by watering them. I talked to Yui Fujita one time. One singular time to keep my social needs up while at the first house. Now she is constantly calling me. Like, stop it. I never wanted to hang out with you, nor will I ever. It took several days to plant every single flower bush, and I am proud of my child workforce. I feel like I need to reward them with, like, more work or something. They love their work in poor conditions. Time for some quick maths. I can harvest 15 plots at a time for around 135,000 simoleons. And I have one, two, three, a, a lot of plots. I estimate I could make 1.6 million simoleons from a single complete harvest. As more and more bushes bloom, I grow my wealth and eventually complete the making money scenario. I did it, whoopee, I made only a million simoleons. As any greedy capitalist has done in the past, I'm going to continue to exploit my workforce because I want all of the money, not just some of it. I force my child workers to continue maintaining my massive garden. It is at this point that I am realizing that I might not have enough children to maintain the entire garden. Several plants require water, weeding, or insecticide. It seems like it might be too much for my workforce. But my child laborers valiantly continue to work the fields. Some are even going hungry to better our community. And by our community, I mean my bank account. After the majority of the orchids bloom, my game starts to break even more. The flowers start strobing uncontrollably. 
The only way to stop it is to zoom in really close or sell them. After selling my strobing flowers, I doubled my money. With over 2 million simoleons, I now have enough money to last several generations of sims. But I don't think my lust for simoleons can ever be satisfied. And that lust is causing problems. I got a little too ambitious, and even with my child workforce, I cannot keep all of my plants healthy, and some are starting to die. I hired a gardener to come help prevent plants from dying, as I am a real capitalist. And real capitalists would never find a solution to a problem that is killing their business. Instead, a real capitalist would squeeze every ounce of profit as humanly possible out of the business before it collapses. And they get a government bailout or they go bankrupt and everyone loses their jobs. Well, I make millions. So I reloaded my save and lost a bunch of my plants. A big chunk of my plants are no longer blooming and are now in a state as if they had just been planted. Thanks, Maxis. Without even including the plants I just lost through the glitch, as I stated before, so many of my plants are dying. I need my laborers to go into super overdrive extreme mode to save as many plants as possible for as long as possible. This will be done whether they are willing or not. And by willing, I mean I ordered them to start watering plants, but since my game is not working properly, they literally can't stop working until they collapse from exhaustion. Fuck off, Yui. I'm trying to make money here. I've reached a point where so many plants have died, I don't think it's worth it to replant them. So, I'm downsizing my garden. I'm removing the dead plants and moving the healthy plants from the pots near the back of the garden to the front to hopefully get them more attention from the children. I thought I discovered an exploit doing this where picking up a plant with weeds and putting it back down would get rid of the weeds in build mode. But as soon as you go back into live mode, the weeds grow back. So I can officially say, without a doubt, I have not discovered an exploit. Despite downsizing several times, the flickering of the orchids still remains. I have been overworking my laborers so much, the Sims CPS is threatening to take them away. Don't take them. The children want to work. Look how happy they are. We have downsized so much because of all the plants dying, I feel like my garden is a shell of its former self. Much like my laborers with their individuality and will to live taken from them. And finally, with the final harvest, I reached the max possible amount of simoleons. This is as rich as I can get. Now my family can live happily ever after with the money we earned. And by we, I mean me, as I delete my laborers and move into a 250,000 simoleon penthouse in the city and live the rest of my life in luxury. I learned my lesson. Child labor is a great vehicle for wealth creation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or are a really cool person, you should watch my last video where I hosted the deadliest cooking contest in The Sims 4.